ladies and gentlemen. gentlemen. One second. That uh, Joe Celine, I've got to show you Joe Celine's right up in the uh, TV guide in Canada. Joe Celine is one of Canada's most uh, popular TV personalities and astrologers. Got her own show. She gets on other people's show all the time. And uh, I just wanted to sit with me because she makes our screen bubble and dance and sparkle. I think the whole new world is, is getting there. Uh, we have lived in reality. We have lived in serious economy, serious business, serious everything, <coughs> looking at the rational side for a long, long time. And we still have a lot of answers which was, were not answered. And I think where astrology comes in is, I think astrology was the base of everything anyways. But we're getting back to this. And this you're, is why it's be becoming more and you're, more and you're more You're going popular. to analyze the vibrations today yes. of everybody. But, but first, a little bit on you. When did astrology become such a big part of your life, Jocelyn? I was born an astrologer. I was really? born uh, <laughs> asking many questions where... I'm a, what am I doing on the planet here? Who I am? What are those billions of stars in heaven? And who are the people around me? Why is my mother like this? Why is my father like this? Why do I like, I like this aunt better? Mm -hmm. Why do I like Joe Franklin so much? You, know, I you tell ask you, questions. I gotta tell you, you Solo has a face, question. Right? He beckons to me for uh, Jocelyn. Uh, just how do you feel people can get more out of astrology? That's have a, a great, little great you have, you, There's so many things available. You have to listen, you know, you have to read a lot of books, serious books. What about, like the newspaper, the silly little well, things? Well, not all the newspaper, but usually the major big newspapers are very serious about it. And <laughs> that's like everything else in the world, you know, like not everybody's the best. And there's good doctors, bad doctors, there's good lawyers, bad lawyers. And astrology in time, if you take, go into some esoteric libraries and get to, get to read some very, 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 uh, uh, serious books about it and you could learn like what time it and try to practice with people and ask their signs and you will know them mm -hmm. and of course one day i'm gonna have my own show in america i want to watch me and i'll teach you i want to produce it and i want to yes, go and i want to go my uncle. i want to go pull that lady's hair and show you that's, <laughs> that's real hair that's not a wig we want to sing that yes i can sing i can uh, act but I'm, i uh, am basically an astrologer uh, i you, am the ambassador yeah. of the stars what do you call your show in, in canada there's one it's called what's your sign and we have all kind of like in that we sort of make we in, we we um we have all kind of guests like actors singers politicians and we present them they make their numbers it's like a musical Bernie, like imagine, a imagine yeah. if she were on tv with denise darcel jocelyn you wouldn't get a word nobody nobody could know which is which jocelyn right? how do you feel about the hot new act known as jocelyn and wayne you know what I really feel about those people? Wait. Him, I think, is in a brand new start. Right. And being a Taurus, you have Jupiter entering your sign since the 9th of March. So if you have any dreams for you and all the Taurus who are watching, please w push on your dreams because you could finally get them true right. in this year. So what you're doing right now, you're going to have a lot of success. And those two are magical. I've got, yes. a, I've got a couple dreams too, you know. No, you have more than <laughs> dreams. You have heaven in your heart and your soul. But the combination of uh, both of you together, I swear, is so magical. He is Pisces and Virgo. Well, Complimentary. You, you're going to go up and up. You've never heard Mariana sing. You'll hear it now. Okay. I, a told, lovely I told Bernie that She's I was... She's a lover, her, and a I kisser, told, and a giver. Oh, yes. I could see I, it. Is it going to be a hit? Okay, I'll tell you. You're a Pisces person. Yes. The last two, three years, you've been going through a lot of strange things in your life. Like, you're becoming more... You, you, are, you are demanding finally your rights. You are saying, I exist, I want, and that's the end of it. Because you're too good. It will be successful a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Alex, this baby. week is a strange week, but in the 15th, fabulous. One more question, yes. if I may. One more yes. question. After the show, I've noticed your finger. Will you scratch my back after the show? Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll scratch your soul, too. <laughs> may I keep a promise the for five seconds? Tomorrow, Canada's premier astrological personality, Jocelyn, Jocelyn, any, any, any vibra anything you feel sitting it's, here. It's so strange. Yes. Well, I, I like her a lot, and I think she's going to redo very well for the next seven years. But him, he was saying about the, the man, the matured man, but in the child, in, in the, within him, I find that what he is, is that he is mature in a certain way, but he is a little boy within him. It's funny because you, uh, you are Capricorn with Sagittarius, right on, on the cups, and it's like you have freed your dude somehow in the, next, the last two, three years, and now you're going to start finally living not the mature side of, of life, but rather the, the joyful little... I find that you're, there's a child, a little boy inside of you who's going to be able to jump around a lot in the next coming year. A lot of fun. Well, you, would you like this? Yes, I, I hope I'll be able to take that to the bank. <laughs> <laughs> yes, for sure. Capricorn said to tell you, yes, you will. Whatever well, Jocelyn says that. is bankable. Uh, <laughs> and what is your informed assessment, Ms. Fisher, of uh, the ladies' analysis? Well, I like the lady, <laughs> and I've heard a little bit about her show in Canada, and she sounds like a real authority to Tomorrow, me. Tomorrow, uh, with Arthur Tracy, the street singer, the, at Bernie Wayne, the life and times of Jocelyn, 
I want to show some of her Canadian write-ups. If she doesn't get her own TV show, I'm going to quit show business. I think, right. I think she <laughs> bubbles like Denise Darcel. Let's watch these bubbling words. We shall return pronto. Oh, do that one, do that one more time. <laughs> oh, well, before we chat with Tiny Tim and with Ray Pollard, how about a little bit of an update on the productive life of Jocelyn? What's been... Well, things are going marvelous. I'm still having all my shows in Canada, and people love it. And But the latest thing is, I think, which is a breakthrough in the planet Earth, is I'll be the, doing the astrology on the Air Canada Airlines. So the new channel, so the Air Canada is a kind of, uh, I think people who are looking for very much into the future, they're probably so close to stars and they decided to do something a little bit different. You'll be analyzing the stars up in the stars. Yes, absolutely, because I'm just, we'll be so close by, it'll be marvelous. And I made a mix also with beautiful classical music with composers, the greatest computers of the world. So I make an interplay. So please watch this starting January 1989. You mean not only watch, but listen. Listen, yes. starting January 89. Well, the way I do it is really watching. You gotta put, <laughs> really? you got to put the it's headset. Very, very, uh, I made it very dramatic, very nice. You put those little earmuffs. I right. call them earmuffs. Right. And you go into what it will be called the new dimension. In French, la nouvelle dimension. And just that, to go a little bit further than life and make little thoughts about every sign. And that's my favorite French toast, and that's one of her <laughs> little booklets. She's got one for every month right now. They tell me her name is Jocelyn. She's on Canadian TV four different times a day on four different shows. I've got it here right now. I want to tell you one thing. Canada's about, leading talk show uh, hostess named Jocelyn. 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 Right, Jocelyn on me. <laughs> I always say that. That means because I try to get some answers and information. Yeah. I'm also a fantastic fan of Mr. Gregory, and I think... I love the kind of mission he undertook to really help young people. Were and you once known as Denise Darcel? Pardon me? <laughs> <laughs> He's a comedian. You are too? <laughs> what, uh, how would you describe your format on your uh, show? We're trying to interview a different kind of personality, famous and non-famous, and of course, pe extraordinary people like Dick Gregory. We had different kind of personalities from, from America, from Europe, who come in, and I try to use them as examples to demonstrate the kind of achievement they have made in life and at the same time try to educate people in nourishment. Of course, I use astrology because I'm in astrology and uh, we do palmistry and we try to, through the chart and the hands of people and numerology and color, th ca color therapy to try to educate people and how they could control their own lives, you see? Because now we entered Aquarius age. We're not there yet. We, we came to the aura on the 14th of Mars. 1985 it means now a lot of individuals in the world will need to take over their lives okay and this this is right right now we're going to be doing in new york this is where i'm here today in new york is to invite people from new york and all over to come to the whole life expo because all those wonderful things that he's talking about and if you want more information this is the place to be definitely in new york it's absolutely fantastic this weekend we'll make this it official weekend. i want yes. it because Mr. Gregory uh, you're a charming lady and you're here for the health food expo before yes. we ask uh, John, how to get in touch with him and how to join in with him. Uh, and you're the health food lady, as I said. How about a few tips on, on maintaining a youthful appearance? Because you're a, you're a <laughs> radiant, radiant lady. Yes. <laughs> well, I do take care of myself. And I believe that you have to learn to eat for your dream, okay? And uh, eating is a fuel. And you have to be the boss of this machine. You cannot let food be the boss of you. Otherwise, it doesn't make sense. And I believe that old age and not being beautiful, something's wrong. It's a disease. The real disease for me is that. Everything else is not a real disease, but that rather a deformation, a distortion of energy. Another thing is you have to work out. You have to exercise. And you have to be active. And also, you have to be in, in, keep in touch with a certain respect and dignity. I see you too, but uh, Jocelyn, let, let's have a big invitation. Let's jam that. Yes, uh, I am inviting everybody in New York, all around New York, even out of New York, as far as you can go, to come and see us at the Whole Life Expo. It's going to be in the Roosevelt Hotel, and we are expecting you with our brains, with our soul, with our hearts, and everything. We'll give you all kind of incredible international and national information of the, of certain things that you could do to really help yourself. Is, is, Canada, is Canada a two-language uh, two country? Is Yes, uh, well, it's French and English. Yes, but I'm more from Quebec, so therefore it's like, uh, I'm, I, I, but my, my work is in English. So what makes the big difference, let's say, between American broadcasting and, and Canadian broadcasting, TV, radio, anything? What's, what's, is Canadian broadcasting anything like American? Uh, it's, uh, I, w I would say that you're more international, but yeah. we're getting there slowly. I want to be on your show. You promise? <laughs> oh, promise. <laughs> and the dates for the Whole Life Expo are what, October 11? 11, 12, 13, and 14. It's the most fantastic thing that exists on the planet. Your it's fantastic. Fantastic. I'll be right Thank back you. with more <laughs> exciting people to meet our very radiant panel.
keep watching. I'll be back with Kid Watch and Mr. Gregory and Mr. Dunstan, and the big party is only just beginning.